Hey, Whiskey Green, this is Empress. And I'm Kara. Kara, what do we have today? We have a Mictors. Cool. Barrel strength rye. Cool. Can't go wrong with Mictors. A little tricky to find. Mm. Uh, I think Mictors is an interesting distillery. Mm -hmm. Or as one of our friends says, Minchners. Is that how he pronounces it? It's Mictors. Mictors. Mictors in this house. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the sourcing of this is a little less than transparent, shall we say. So, that's the only sh uh, sticky wicket. Which one is this? This is 2020... 21. 2021. It is the 54.1% proof. Cool. I don't know. It smells lovely. I can't remember... It does. We've had it before, and yes. I can't remember how much I liked it or if I even liked it. I don't remember. I liked it. I remember. I know you're we a just fan. Don't go back to it as much, just because we're not going to be chasing these. We it just, we were just lucky to get these. It's a nice forest. Yeah, but it has with caramel drizzle over the top has, of those trees. It has a sweetness mm -hmm. to it that I don't normally get with rice. Oh look! So that's a nice bead. Look at this. It's got legs. It's got legs. Yeah, so it smells like caramel dr drizzle on top of some trees. I like that. A little sweetness in your outdoors. Yeah. I remember when I like it. It doesn't have that mint that punches you in the face. What's that? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Nature. Goodness. Oh, that's a pr what's the proofy? Fifty four point one. After that. Yeah. It it drinks a little bit hotter than I think, just because it's got a slight something to it. Yeah. But it's not overwhelming to me. It's got a special something to it that I can't name. It's like, there's definitely, this is not your average rye. Mm. I think it's because I'm a little taken aback because I, we've been drinking a lot of 95.5 yes. MGP ryes. Yes, it's no. not that sweet. You get a lot more like woodiness, mm -hmm. maybe herbalness. No, no dill. I, it makes me wonder if this is just a barely rye. Oh, do I don't know if we know the no. Hmm. How much is this SRP? I think it's around eighty nine dollars here for us. So that's that's not bad for a, a barrel strength rye for sure. Mm. I don't know because it's so unique. It is fun to have, and is it? I think it's a definitely a try. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would stand in line for it, but I don't stand in line for most things. Because just because there's so much other things out there, mm -hmm. I, I it's definitely a unique bourbon profile. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we've been drinking a lot of ninety five five MGP. Yeah. Because that that kind of um, influences what I think it should taste like a little bit, maybe maybe unfairly, because I feel like it's I expected it to be a little bit sweeter. Yep. I expected the car the dark caramels yep. in mm -hmm. to come in and it's it doesn't. But there's this lovely unusual woodiness that mm -hmm. I was uh surprised by. Oh, okay. Especially when I first tried it, I was like, well, what the heck is that? But yeah. after trying it and going back, then I'm like, Well that's that's kind of fun. I I enjoy it and that's probably why I haven't been drinking it so much because I know it's really good, but I'm not going to be up trying to replace the bottle with how crazy it's become. No, I feel fortunate to be able And there's other things for that some of the price range, or even less, that there's, we can get that we enjoy. Just got a hint of mint right on the end. It is fun and unique enough mm -hmm. that I'm so glad that we were able to try yeah. it and mm -hmm. have a bottle. And it might be just, that's enough for us. Of one bottle, but if it wasn't so crazy, I'd get another one. Mm. But I'm not. I'm not digging trying to get into all that craziness. It's no. the state, there's other stuff that are just as good. The state of bourbon, as you know, is a little it's ridiculous like, right now. I'm starting to. I tr I'm trying to work on that FOMO where I feel like I'm gonna miss something because in the, we're not. It's all. I, it, it, we're, I'm trying to focus yeah. on the experience of drinking a good bourbon, sharing a good bourbon yeah. with others, and not being disappointed if I don't get 
all of them because there's mm-hmm. no way I'm gonna collect all of them no, no. or try all no. of them and that's where I'm trying to focus more about is what are what are some good things that are available and sure. this I know is not available so it's kind of funny that I said that while we're drinking Victor's barrel proof because it's impossible to find just enjoy your whiskey of what you have and what you're able to get honestly I so just take another sip this it's good I, I, I really do enjoy it. I've acclimated. Acu- ac- so my just... palate has acclimated to this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like starting it. to get the sweet finish of the rice that I like. I'm starting to get mm-hmm. that sweetness at the, right at the end. Mm-hmm. Because I was so taken aback by the woodiness um, up front. Mm-hmm. And the herbalness up front. I was taken aback by it. Now I'm at, my palate is acclimating to this. It's 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 lovely. Yeah, it's I lovely. get I get why people really want to try yeah. it. No, I, I think this is actually one of the few Victor's hard to find bottles that we did actually yeah. get because we've had the chance, especially this year, to get so many of those toasted ribbons. Oh, we passed on those because we actually got oh, a toast, sample. Toasted bourbon. The bourbon one. Yeah. We've passed on the toasted bourbon that just really came out because we a had a sample and we, we just didn't care for it. Yeah. It's just. Is it the it, one that was a little floral? We, we just didn't care for it. Okay. I actually don't remember. I don't it was remember actually not things. memorable. And. Yeah. If we're not going to buy a bottle just because everyone's trying to out buy a bottle. So mm-hmm. if we bought that bottle for some someone else, chances, someone else, can, someone have else can have it and they yeah. can be happy because yeah. we just didn't care it's for it. It's just not our jam. That could be some other people's jams. And I think that's how we have to approach, especially how it's become really crazy trying yeah. to get bottles. It's like, yeah. well, we had a sample. We tried it. It really wasn't our jam and we don't want to pay the $89 for it. So let someone else be yeah. happy that they got it. So... So, what are some ryes that you think are amazing? Do you like Michter's Barrel Strength rye? Or... What about the regular expression one? Just the single barrel that they have, normally. Oh my god, we yeah. have not had the regular rye. Because it's always available, so because we, it's we all should of, pick it up. I know, for, personally, I really like Michter's American if I'm just chilling and just want a good, a good one. It's just, e- that's, that's a dangerously easy drinker because I know yes. I've probably polished off that bottle by myself. Yes. So, so in the comments, please give us a, a recommendation or some thoughts about what you think are great rides that you don't have to stand in line for. And while you're down there, give us a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications if you like what we're doing because then you can join us in our next video. Well, I don't know about you, but this is a barrel strength rye that is just growing on me. Yeah. And I, uh, I really fancy this whiskey. I have a feeling that since you came back to it and you liked it, I think it's going to be gone soon. Eh. There goes the end of that bottle, guys. Well, that's okay. I'm glad I share with you. Cheers. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, because we eat.